Okay, type 3 problems are similar to type 2 problems, but they are different, which is awesome to say. So for type 3 problems, for type 3 problems, you start at the beginning. All right? So I'll put the IP address I'm given. Now look up in the table, six usable addresses. Six usable addresses is slash 29. Slash 29. All right? Same thing, six usable addresses, increments by eight, or block size of eight. So that means I should add eight to the next address. Eight slash six usable addresses again, which we just did was a 29. And this is where it gets tricky. So with our current method for type two problems, we go this far, and then we say, okay, slash 29, we add, we look up the increments by or the block size which is 8 so we'll add 8 to that so we add 8 and we get 16 so here's where type 3 problems are different with type 3 problems we have to make sure that the network we're putting next will fit where this network ends so this network ends at dot 15 so in theory our next one could be 16 but if we look up 30 usable addresses in the table 30 usable addresses in the table the block size is 32 so that means our blocks will start at increments of 32. So 0, 32, 64, 96, 128, etc., etc. So that means that our next network, this 30 usable addresses, cannot start at 16. It can start at uh, 32, right? 16 is not a multiple of 32. The block size for 30 addresses is 32. So that uh, tells us that we have to have that start at 32. We can look, go look up our prefix length which is 27, 27, right? So our normal method, we'll follow our normal method first. 32, the block size is 32. So we'll add 32 to that, we'll get 64. And now we'll check and say, oh, hey, we need to make two usable addresses. Two is smaller than 30, so that'll be just fine. Right, we'll go check our chart, 30. I mean, two usable addresses is a slash 30, all right? Our block size is four. So here's, a, here's what we would normally do, 50.165.164. Block size was four, so that'd be 68, all right? But we look and we're like, oh, hey, that says 62. So the block size for 62 is 64. So that tells me this network has to be a multiple of 64. 68 is not a multiple of 64. The next multiple of 64 we can start at would be 128. We have a 26 for that, right? Look up in the chart for a, a uh, 64 is a slash 26. Same thing here, 50.165.164. Uh, well, the block size was 64, so the next network could be 192. Let's check what we're making. Okay, 64 is smaller than 64. So that's fine. Uh, 26 again. So now we'll go 50.165.164. Oh, let's add 64. That gets us 256. So that's going to go up to 165.255. Sorry. 165.0. Slash. We need 126 usable address as well. 126 can start at, at 0. The block size is, is 128 for that. So we can either have 0 or 128, and the prefix length need to be, needs to be 25. All right, this, will be, this one we can do like normal, 165.128, right? We need a slash 30, not a slash 30, 30 usable, which would be a slash 27. 128 is on a multiple of uh, 32, so it's 0, 32, 64, 96, 128. So a 30 can start at 128. 30 usable addresses, a slash 27 can start at 128. That, uh, that will add at, third, the block size is 32, so that will end at 159, making our next address 160. Slash 2, two usable is a slash 30. Block size of 4, so 164 slash 30. So that's that. So the only ma the main difference between type two and type three problems is that the number does not uh, gets the number of usable addresses does not get smaller 
as we go along. So the uh, we have to be careful where we start the next network. Let's see if I got that right. Your answer is correct. All right, so same thing here. You know, we start out with uh, 204.88.80.0 slash uh, 62 will be 26. 204.88.80.64 because the block size of a slash 26 to 64 slash 14 is smaller. So that's not a problem there. So that's going to be uh, 28. All right, if we check our chart. 14 slash 28 block size of 16. So then we'll go 204.88.80.16. That'll be 16 plus 64. It's going to be 80 slash 30. Right? Our, our networks are either the same size or getting smaller so far. So they're exactly the same as a type 2. And then we get to this one. If we went by our normal method, uh, 88 is what we would put there, but we can't do that because this is a 510, right? 510 means we have a slash 23, so that means we're over here working in this octet, and it, the block size is multiples of 2. So we were on 80, so our next block of 2 is 82.0 slash a 510 was what I say it was? 510 slash 23. Right, so let's think about that for a minute. We we went up to 80.88, 80.87 was the last address we used in this block, but we cannot start the next block at 80.88 because it can only start in multiples of, multiples of two in the third octet. So now we'll just keep going. Right, block size of two, so that makes this one be uh, 83. Sorry, the block above ends at 83.255, so that means this block can start at 84.0. Six usable addresses. Six usable is a slash 29 with a block size of 8. Slash 29, block size of 8, so that tells us we have 204.88.84.8. That's not an 8. Slash 30. All right, 204.88.84.12 84.12 if we were going to be able to go just where the next one where start the next one where this one ends but we can't do that that's a 62 usable addresses which means we have a block size of 64 so that means my next one has to start at 64 that would be a 26 for prefix length All right now 204.88.84. we have two usable so we can start where this this one at the the normal place 128 right the block size is 64 that'll be 30 and then we have a 24 which hopefully we all know that a 24 takes up the entire uh, class C range uh, for that subnet so we'll have to start that at, at 85.0 slash 24 and that is pretty much how you do a type 3 problem